Everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Points of Articulation. My name's Dave, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. Today I'm looking at the Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures game, second edition BTL A4 Y-Wing expansion pack. What a mouthful! So the Y-Wing was first seen in Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope, and it was an older vessel used by the Rebellion during the Galactic Civil War. Now during the war, the Y-Wing had two uses. One, it was a scout ship, and two, it was used as a bomber. Now getting back to the expansion, not only am I happy we could finally play the Y-Wing in the second edition game, but Fantasy Flight Games has given us a brand new model, and it looks fantastic. In my opinion, it is far superior to the original Y-Wing in the first edition of the game. And you bet your butt we're going to take a nice look at that mold, but first, let's talk about the size. This ship is a little over two and a quarter inches long, which is great. So we do have a lot to cover. Everybody knows to drill by now. So let's get this review started. And now it's time for my favorite part of these videos to dial token roll call. One maneuver dial. Three small ship tokens, which are double sided. Three ion tokens. Two shield tokens. One disarm token. Two proton bomb tokens. Two seismic charge tokens. One small single turret arc indicator. And finally, one dial ID token. So that's all the dials and tokens. So now let's take a look at those cards. Alright, starting off with the cards, like always, I will read the title of the card. If you'd like to pause the video and read the paragraph below, by all means, go right ahead and continue when you're done. First up, Expert Handling, Ion Cannon Turret, Proton Bombs, R5 Astromech, Seismic Charges, and finally, Veteran Turret Gunner. So that does it for all the upgrade cards, so now let's take a look at the ship cards. Now looking at those ship cards, up first we have Dutch Vander, Evan Verlaine, Horden Somme, Nora Wexley, Gold Squadron Veteran, and finally, Gray Squadron Bomber. So that does it for all the ship cards, so now let's take a look at the quick build cards. And now for those quick build cards, here is the first one, and here is the second. So now that I'm done with all the cards, let's take a quick look at the little rule book that comes with the expansion, and then we'll put the ship on a stand and check out that beautiful mold. Now, just like every expansion, we do get a nice component sheet for the Y-Win telling us everything we get in the set. However, the Y-Wings can open up. Now, on the interior, we have a nice little reference page telling us about some new rules such as devices, and as we saw with the tokens, we have proton bombs and seismic charges. And this little booklet basically tells us how those work. So this is nice. Keep a hold of it. Beautiful picture as well. And on the back, it's just copyright crap. So now, let's put the Y-Wing on a stand. Now, just like all X-Wing miniatures game ships, you get two pegs you combine to make a longer rod, a translucent base, plug it in like so, grab your ship and be gentle putting it on, these are fragile, and just like that everybody, you're good to go. And finally, here we have the brand new Y-Wing mold. This thing is magnificent. I think it has some of the best detail I've ever seen on one of these miniatures. Beautiful stuff. So, like always, I will go over the major sections of the ship, we'll get a comparison with the original Y-Wing, and then we'll get nice and close to see all the fine details this baby has to offer. So, first off, in the front we have our laser cannons, our cockpit slash canopy, ion cannon turret, pretty cool, astromech droid, tons of little engineering doodads, I believe back here we have our shield generator, hyperdrive, and also power generators. So pretty cool. I love all the little pipes and stuff. Our aft section looking good. In the front we have our sensor domes. Ion engines. And then back here we have our steering vanes which look amazing. On the bottom, peg port for the stand. Tons of nice little details. And right here should be the bomb and shoot. Or torpedo launcher if you will. All in all... A beautiful looking ship, so let's compare it with the original real quick. And here we have the original Y-Wing, which I'm still a big fan of, but compared to the new one, it's like night and day, literally. Which one do you guys prefer? Use a nice profile. You can see you could hardly see the turret on the old one. Pretty interesting. Let me know in the comments below which one you guys prefer. I like the newer one. And let's get an aft shot. 
pretty cool. And finally, a front shot. Interesting. So that does it for a little comparison. So now, let's get that close up and see all the fine details this baby has. All right, getting as close as I can. We'll look at the front of the ship first. We have our laser cannons. Looking very nice for the front of the ship. Tons of line work, raised sections here and there. The canopy has recessed windows, raised sections and line work as well. Looking pretty cool. Then we have our ion cannon turret. Now some people say it's too big, but I don't know. I kind of dig it and it does have negative space. You can see the canopy underneath it through the barrels, I should say. Pretty cool. On the sides, we do have line work. And on the bottom, line work, little modules, torpedo launchers, and the bomb and shoot. Pretty sick. I think it came out great. Now moving down, we have our peg port for our stand. And look at all this stuff. Like I don't even know where to start. Hoses, pipes, little modules, recesses, grates. Everything's there. And it is amazing. It's so much stuff. Even right here on the pylons, if you will. Amazing stuff. And on the sides of those pylons, we do have some detail in there. Not much, but they did put some. On the sides of the ships, holy guacamole. Look at all that stuff. Where do I even begin? It's just, oh, it's just too much. But it looks amazing. Look at all that. Fantastic. Really getting your money's worth with this. Even on the back. Beautiful. Check the other side. My god. Tons of stuff on here. You know, in my opinion, this ship is probably worth every single penny. This thing is great. Now, moving back. We have our astromech droid. Looking good, you can see its arms on the side. Has like a little arm hanging off, but I think that's just hair that got painted onto it. It is what it is. We're moving now, we got pipes. Which, uh, I want to say is a copper color, but I'm going to stick with brown to be safe. Either or, it is magnificent. And look at all this. My god. Tons of great stuff on here. I love the aft section. I think that looks great. Beautiful. They really went all out with this bad boy. And it shows. Now looking at the sensor domes. Nicely done. Looking at the ion engines. Start at the bottom. Beautiful work. Holy guacamole. Then we have our veins. Beautiful stuff. Look at that. Now, I'm not going to lie. For being a little over two and a quarter inches long, the detail on this is astronomical. To the point where, for the first time doing these videos, I don't know what to say. It's just beautiful. Especially back here with all the doodads, pipes and hoses and engineering components. Fantastic. Now, what makes this model stand out besides the beautiful sculpt is the paint. So let's have a quick look at that. Now, looking at the paint on the new Y-Wing, this baby features seven different colors and it shows. It's a beautiful looking ship. Main color is a nice tan. And I think it's a great color choice. Very clean. Then we have blue on the canopy, by the sensor domes on the back section and around the sensor domes as well. Pretty cool. Now besides that, we do have some yellow in the front of the ship, on the sensor domes, and on the bottom. Pretty cool. After that, we have brown, which sounds a little weird, but it works. All these little tiny pipes are painted brown. Pretty cool. And that brown does go on the bottom as well. And on the aft section, on these two pieces here. Pretty sharp. Now, besides the brown, we do have a glossy black for the windows. Pretty cool. Reflecting that light nicely. 
I think that came out great. Now you can't forget that silver on the astromech. Looking pretty good. And finally, black wash, which fills in all these nooks and crannies and panel lines and really brings this model to life. And I think they did an awesome job with this ship, really. So that's everything I have to say about the mold and the paint. So now let's put this baby back on a stand, compare it to some other ships, and then we'll be done for today. And now for a quick size comparison with the second edition Y-Wing Starfighter seen on the far left, moving right, we have the first edition Y-Wing, the second edition TIE Fighter, the second edition TIE Advanced, and finally we have the second edition X-Wing Starfighter. Some awesome looking ships here. And that does it today for my review of the Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures Games 2nd Edition Y-Wing Expansion Pack. Again, this ship was first seen in Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope. And for the ship's size, it's over 2 and a quarter inches long, which is pretty nice. Now I'm just going to get into why you should buy the thin. First of all, for the game, this expansion comes with everything you need to add the Y-Wing to your core set, which is great. And if you're a Rebellion player, I think you should really look into it. Not only is it a great looking ship, but it features some deadly weaponry, such as proton and seismic charges, which could really hurt your enemy. Now, from a miniatures collector standpoint, this has got to be hands down one of the best miniatures I have ever seen in my entire life. It has nice line work, but where it shines is the aft section. Beautiful modules, pipes, little radiators, engineering components scattered throughout. It looks amazing to the point where reviewing it, I didn't even know what to say. It was just so much stuff to look at and makes me feel like I really got my money's worth. Now, as great as the mold is, what makes it a little better is the use of paint. Now, we have that beautiful tan, blue, and yellowish gold that we're used to, but we got a silver astromech. And what really took me by surprise was the use of a brownish copper color on all these pipe sections seen in the aft of the ship, pylons, and midsection. And that little added paint really brings this model to life. Really, the more little things you paint here and there, the more realism it adds. And building upon that, the use of black wash on this ship is amazing. It's heavy, it's in places where it should be. And for the Y-Wing, I buy it because the Y-Wings in the original trilogy, they looked old, they looked like garbage. And that's one of the things about the original Star Wars trilogy. When you saw Rebellion ships or walking around Tatooine, Everything was used, everything was dirty, and it added a sense of realism to the whole original trilogy that this little model, I think, really captures, and I love it for that. So in short, if you're a fan of the Rebellion, or you're just a fan of miniatures, go buy it because it is worth it. So that's everything I have to say about this beautiful looking ship today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, and if you'd like to see new reviews every Thursday, subscribe. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.